Okay, so you've created a Jing video. Now you want to share it um, and embed it into onto your Moodle page. So let's show you how to do that. Um, first of all, Jing obviously needs to be turned on. So it's going to be, to check that, it, you should see this kind of uh, sun-looking icon in the upper right-hand corner. In order to do this the first time, you're going to need to click on Preferences and play around with some of the settings. And this is a one-time deal, but just to walk you through this, you're going to click on Preferences, and we need to customize our Jing buttons. Uh, if I remember correctly, the default sharing mechanism for Jing is sharing via a URL, which is nice and convenient, but we also want to be able to share via embedding videos on the page. It definitely helps kind of bring things alive a little bit in Moodle, and, we, and that's one of the things you're required to do this week. So if we look at this, um, you should have these three buttons. This one on the left, this kind of pitchfork-looking icon, uh, allows you to share via a URL. We need to add another sharing button that allows you to share via embed code. So in order to add that button, we're going to click on New to create a new share button. Clipboard contents right now by default are URL. For this particular button, we want the sharing to be done via HTML embed code. Do that, and we hit Save. You'll see the button appear right there. Okay. So when you see me, um, when when you make a video now, what you'll see happen is these uh, this toolbar will pop up on the bottom, and the sharing button on the left will be for the URL, and the sharing button on the right will be for embedding. And you can you can customize this however you want. You can change that, but that's just how I have it. All right, let's go ahead and quickly make a video just to show you how we now embed. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, I'm going to choose, I'm going to make it a fairly small video. Okay, there we go. Capture video, we'll get a countdown. Three, two, one. Okay, testing one, two, testing one, two. This is week three for Moodle for Educators. And we're done. Let's stop. All right, and you can see the share button kind of pop up there. The one on the left URL, the one on the right embed code. So I will go ahead and click share. And it will upload that very short video I made uh, up to the screencast server, and it will provide us with the embed code. Now, since it's such a short video, you can see it's going pretty quick. Anytime you want to see the progress, you just move the cursor up here, and it'll show you we're almost done already. Okay, your embed code for your capture is ready to be pasted. Perfect. So that the embed code is already copied for me to my clipboard. All right, now I just go and embed that in, onto my Moodle page. All right. I want to add a resource. When we embed videos, we need to insert them essentially as labels. So we're going to insert a label. Okay. Now, we cannot just embed this video. We cannot paste the embed code into the text field. The browser base will not recognize that. We need to toggle over to HTML source mode. And when we do that, you can see the break tag here. Now we are ready to go ahead and paste, edit, paste, the code for our video. Save and return. And you should see the video pop right up on the page. It might be a little big. Uh, it looks like it probably is a little big. Ah, there we go. Yes, it's very big. Okay, so there you go. The good news is the video is there. The bad news is we just need to resize it a little bit. All right, so now in order to resize it, we have to actually play around with the code a little bit. We're going to click on Update to edit this. Don't worry, it's not too bad. We're going to go click on HTML, HTML source code, and we want to scroll towards the top. Right, One of the first things we'll always mention, one of the top two or three lines, for any embedded video, you'll see object width and object height. Um, that refers to, obviously, the height and width of your video. So 1237 by 765 is a huge video. We're gonna, let's, let's chop that in half. Let's, let's go with approximately, whoopsie. What happened there? Let's go with how about 600 by, I don't know, 350. How's that sound? That might distort the image a little bit, but we'll go ahead and save and return to course and see what that looks like. And now you can see, there you go. Looks pretty good. 